We are currently witnessing a rare celestial event, uh, the full lunar eclipse, also known as the blood moon. These are the light pictures that we are getting from across the country and around the world. The lunar eclipse, it occurs when the Earth comes between the moon and the sun and the Earth's shadow falls on the moon, which then appears dark and red. This lunar eclipse, uh, it will be the longest in years and the first blood moon since 2018 that can be seen from all parts of the country. This eclipse, it began at 8.58 p.m. Uh, today and it will last until uh, 2.25 a.m. on the 8th of September, the total phase where the moon turns completely red. It will take place between uh, somewhere between 11 uh, p.m. and 12.23 a.m. That is also going to last for 82 minutes. So total lunar eclipse, uh, which is happening tonight, uh, it also features the dramatic blood moon effect. In fact, uh, what is currently happening uh, is a total lunar eclipse, uh, which is commonly called a blood moon. It is underway. The Earth is aligning directly between the sun and the moon, casting its shadow across the lunar surface and tinting it a red hue. In fact, during totality, the moon will glow a rich red-orange color due to sunlight being refracted through Earth's atmosphere. And this eclipse is, uh, as I mentioned, one of the longest in recent years, with totality lasting approximately 82 minutes. For all our viewers, uh, well, where all uh, you can see it, it regions uh, with full visibility. It includes uh, Asia, Africa, Europe and Australia. In fact, nearly 85% of the total world population will have the chance to observe this total eclipse tonight. In India, all the sky watchers uh, in cities like Delhi, in Mumbai, Kolkata, Bengaluru, all of them, they can enjoy this event without any special equipment. Uh, in fact, just look up and you will get a glimpse of this magnificent magnificent lunar eclipse. Conversely, in North America, aside from parts of western Alaska, will miss the eclipse entirely due to daylight. Uh, in fact, uh, the eclipse timing uh, is, uh, as I mentioned, started at uh, around uh, 8, uh, 8 in the uh, 8.25 and uh, this is going to go on uh, till 2.25 a.m. And uh, this is a total lunar eclipse, uh, which is commonly called uh, a blood moon. It is underway, the Earth aligning directly between the sun and the moon, casting its shadow across the lunar surface and tinting it a red hue. Well, the lunar eclipse has just begun. Uh, these are visuals that you're getting on your screen from across the world in India from Jaipur in from Cyprus the moon is going to be red tonight uh, this is a cosmic dance of light light and shadows a celestial spectacle the blood moon is rising over India and during totality the moon will glow a rich red orange color all of this happens due to sunlight being refracted through Earth's atmosphere. The eclipse is one of the longest in the recent years, with the totality lasting approximately 82 minutes. So India and uh, people around the world, they are witnessing this rare celestial event, the full lunar eclipse, also known as the blood moon. The lunar eclipse, it occurs when the earth comes between the moon and the sun and the earth's shadow falls on the moon, which then appears dark and red. This lunar eclipse, uh, as I had mentioned earlier, it is going to be the longest in years and the first blood moon since 2018, which can be seen from all parts of the country. This eclipse, it began at 8.58 p.m. 
and uh, today and it will last until 2.25 a.m. on the 8th of September. The total phase where the moon turns completely red, uh, which is also called the totality, it will take place between 11.01 p.m. and 12.23 a.m. lasting for 82 minutes. All right, uh, let me go across uh, to my colleague uh, Anuj Raite, who's uh, in Mumbai at the moment. Uh, Anuj, uh, take us through what, what all you are uh, seeing right now. Uh, what is the kind of excitement among the people to witness this rare celestial spectacle? Uh, well, you know, just like every year, there is another issue this year as well, that because of cloudy weather, the moon is not really visible. Although a number of people usually gather on important spots like the one where I'm standing at at the moment, this is the side of the Juhu beach, as you can clearly see. And although it has been close to 30 hours since Anand Chaturdashi has been happening, or, you know, has, has, has happened, uh, but people are still participating in Ganesh Visarjan. And on the same occasion, they were here to catch a glimpse of the, uh, you know, of the moon in its prettiest shape today. However, as one can see, if I may ask my camera person to show what it looks like up in the air, it's completely dark. It's all clouded. When we got in touch with the Nehru Planetarium, they told us about how, uh, you know, unfortunately, they they will, they would not, they weren't able to hold any sort of a special show for the kids which usually happens during an e eclipse because uh, because of the cloudy weather the moon is not really visible and that really is an unfortunate thing because it becomes a you know and it becomes an event in itself when people try and gather in places like these uh, you know to, to to exactly see what the moon looks like on such rare occasions but as you can clearly see the sea uh, you know has of course as it usually does on a full moon day is taking you know, is this taking what can also be termed as a violent form. The high tide has been there for the longest time and that resulted in the Ganesh Visarjan also getting delayed by a bit. Uh, and we also saw how the Lal Bhaktsa Raja's Visarjan took almost 33 hours, which is the longest in the recent times. And as a result of that, one can see that the excitement which was there amongst people to witness or to see this pretty moon on today's rare occasion has been dampened a little bit. However, they are still present here by the side of the beach just to make sure that they're able to catch a glimpse of the moon if it is visible by any chance or not because in a city like Mumbai which has got long and tall skyscrapers it is only places like these it is only coastlines like these which provide you with, with an opportunity to have a clear view of the moon however unfortunately as I said before unlike more other more cities in India where the moon is very easily visible in fact it has also started to drizzle here in Mumbai and it's very unlikely that the Mumbaikers will be able to see the moon all right uh Anuj Raithe there, uh, getting us all those updates from uh, Mumbai. So, uh, people uh, who are uh, witnessing this uh, event, this rare celestial spectacle from across the country, uh, get ready to just look up at the sky because the universe is putting on one of its most dramatic shows, a rare total lunar eclipse, also called a blood moon. It is uh, going to light up the entire sky this Sunday night into the early hours of Monday for more than 82 minutes the moon will slip completely into the earth's shadow transforming from its usual bright silver glow into a deep fiery red and the best part you don't need a telescope you don't need special glasses you don't need any equipment just step outside and watch the spectacle unfold this eclipse, uh, it will be visible across India, Asia, Africa, Europe and Australia and making it one of the most widely viewed celestial events of the decade. In fact, in India, the total phase, as I had mentioned, it begins at around 11 p.m. It reaches its peak at, at around 11.41 p.m. and ends just after 12.25 a.m. the next day. The entire eclipse will last until about 2.25 in the morning and astronomers, they say, this is one of the longest lunar eclipses in the recent years and the moon will glow a rich red-orange as sunlight bends through Earth's atmosphere to reach it. So whether you are in uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru or Kolkata, wherever you are able to view this, step out of your terrace, your balcony, your any open field, no filters, no special equipment, just a clear sky and your eyes. Because tonight the moon is set to wear its crimson cloak and for over an hour, the heavens belong to the blood moon. So more than 82 minutes, the moon will slip completely into the earth's shadow. Uh, 
as I mentioned, you don't need telescopes, uh, you don't need any fancy equipment, you just need to step outside and watch this spectacle. Uh, the total phase, it begins at around 11 p.m. and uh, it will last until about 2.25 in the morning, that is the next day and uh, many astronomers, they have said that this is one of the longest lunar eclipses in recent years and the moon will glow in a rich red-orange as sunlight bends through Earth's atmosphere to reach it.